Hey guys, what is up? It's Bibs 7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 video here today. In this one, I'm going to be talking about this week's patch notes. And yes, it is just patch notes once again, so that's pretty much what you're going to want to get yourself buckled in for for the rest of this entire month, considering the fact that they have no updates planned for this month, aside from the event that's going on right now, so pretty unfortunate. But either way, I'm going to talk about it, as well as there is a couple of changes that have come about to the event, and we have gotten our second Premier Club member, or Gold Premier Club member chest. And it is very, very disappointing for this second chest. So I'm going to open mine right now. Here it is, the second chest. And all you get is a f another pet. So another follower pet. It is uh, pets. I'm sure it's in pets. Follower pet. What is it called? Tiny War. So another... We have so many of these stupid things, like little tiny bobblehead pets that you get from all this random stuff, and now we just get another one for the new NPC that was introduced into the event today. That's literally all you get for being a Gold Premier Club member for this so-called exclusive content update. It's just, like, at least the first chest gave some beans to get you going on the new update of the player-owned farm. This chest gives nothing, just a stupid little pet. I mean... I don't know what I expected from these chests, but I don't want to just get a bunch of stupid follower pets that I'm never going to use. Like, it, I, might, I would rather not even have the chests at all. Like, that should be a reward from doing the fucking event. doesn't make any sense to put it in one of these chests. But, yeah, that's a bit of a rant for me. We'll have to wait and see what we get. Maybe we'll get a nice pickaxe pet and then a snowball pet from these two. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Fucking stupid, dude, honestly. But either way... They, they did a couple more things to kind of try and ease the, the blow of there always being patch notes every week. Um, this week, by... Why did that disappear when I unlocked my shit? I was trying to move it, and it just disappears on me. Oh! And now I can't even move because I'm in a fucking cutscene. God! Anyways, um, basically they said, Weekly update, 15th October 2018. Instead of what they usually put for weeks like this, which is patch week, they put this to try and deter people from realizing that it's a patch week. And as you can see, this is the guy coming in. I guess there's a cutscene for it. Um, got some nice Z fighting on his armor, it looks like. But um, anyways, let me move this. The cutscenes in this game are actually trash, by the way, just in general. Um, like Things look better outside of cutscenes than they do in cutscenes, which is kind of backwards compared to most other games, but the cutscenes in this game just look terrible. Uh, I've been doing some quests recently on a different account, and man, some of the cutscenes are really bad. But um, anyways, what? Oh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, that's, it just kind of annoys me. Like, it's a patch week. Just call it a patch week. Like, don't try and give yourself a cop-out for it. And they also said um, that they're just completely shattered after RuneFest, so they can't, they can't bear to make any real updates. Like... This was obviously this was the plan for the for the month. It has nothing to do with RuneFest. Has nothing to do with the fact that this all this event got an update, but it doesn't really count. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just ranting right now. I'll try to stop and I'll go over the stuff that came out for real. So we got this guy. He looks pretty cool. I, I have to say he is a pretty cool looking NPC. Uh, it's a shame to know that he's going to be gone after this event. Assumedly, maybe he'll be in the game for longer than that, but pretty much he's now in the game. I don't know what it has to do with the lore of the events and all that exactly, uh, but I don't really care about that. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing different with the event due to him being here, aside from there being new rewards. Again, I could be completely wrong on that, but they don't really list it anywhere um, here exactly, but... Yeah, he is uh, now in the event, and maybe there's some differences. You can take weapons from his rack, and I think use them to fight some of the stuff that's here. But the main things that are different is there's some new rewards from going into the rift, and some of those are pretty cool. There's this new adrenaline urn, which was found in the game files last week, I think. And what it does is basically you can have it in your inventory, and for every... Uh, adrenaline amount that you gain uh, over 100% so once you have 100% every time you gain more adrenaline you will actually instead 
store it in the urn. It would normally just be wasted, obviously, but you'll instead store it in the urn, and that can store up to 1,000% adrenaline, and that will basically be adrenaline stall for you. So if you are late, too lazy to do the normal things like anticipate or freedom or escape or use a shield ability at places like maybe like Virago between phases or God Wars Dungeon 1 or 2 or you know many other bosses in between kills, the main place I can see it being most useful for would be at AOD because although you don't really want to waste an inventory space on it, but banking while maintaining your adrenaline is a bit annoying sometimes while you're doing AOD. So that's the only place I can really see it having any real use. Otherwise, it's just basically garbage, like, because it doesn't really help you with anything. It just lets you be a little bit more lazy at some of the lower-tiered bosses. But I don't know. Some pe see, people seem to think it's it's pretty cool, but I, I just personally don't like it that much. I don't have it. I haven't done this event at all. Um, but I might do because of the other thing that they also added, which is the soul phylactery. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with the Magister or Tier 92 Kopeshes. It's an item that was introduced into the game a long time ago with some other event. And as far as I can tell from the wiki page, it's basically a sign of life that you can carry in your inventory. And it uh, actually heals you to full health. I'm just, sorry for the typing, I'm just quickly going to the wiki to look at this. So it resurrects you upon dying with all of your life points, but doesn't restore prayer points or any stats, and it doesn't work in PvP. It doesn't say anything about your adrenaline here, so I'm not sure if it drains your adrenaline similar to the sign, but yeah, that's basically it. I don't think... The, the wiki page isn't very detailed, but as far as I know, it doesn't have any shared cooldowns with the sign of life, and it doesn't have any sort of... It's pretty much like the sign of life, but it doesn't have any shared cooldowns with it, and it heals you to full health. So this could be something good for saving those Tello streaks. Um, you know, sometimes you can't even re sign refresh quick enough to not die. So having this will be nice to have. Hopefully, it is sign of life priority first, and then this activates. But I'm not sure. Again, the wiki page is not very detailed, but I definitely want to try and get myself some of these. So I'm probably going to be doing this event for those. Um, but those are the two things, as far as I can tell, based off Reddit, that were added into the event as rewards with this week. So that's pretty nice. Those, the, especially the Soul Flactory, sound nice. The Adrenaline Urn is like a weird niche item that I don't think is useful, but some people might like. And that's it for the event changes. Uh, and then there were some patch notes. I don't want to talk about the graphical ones because those are pointless. Um, I want to see. I don't remember there even being anything super important to talk about, although there was like one or two that were a bit interesting that I wanted to go over. Uh, they actually reduced the damage taken in Elite Dungeons story modes down to 10% of normal mode. I think before it was 50% or maybe 25, I don't remember. But either way, now it is 10%, so it is way, way, way easier to do the story mode versions of the Elite Dungeons for those who are just out there for the lore or want to get the Master Quest Cape requirement lore books. Um, so that's nice, and they so they did that uh, ahead of ED3 so that people can get the requirements of doing each of the other Elite Dungeons out of the way first. So that's pretty nice, I'd say. That's a nice little uh, change for those who do care more about the story and don't want to actually have the PVM challenge um, to th that is uh, as a result of doing the normal mode. Although it's not really that hard, if you ask me, but I don't know, it's just my opinion. Um, but either way, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, one thing that was actually pretty sweet, they um, they added a ton of new foods to the uh, the player-owned farms food bowl, or like food table. I don't know what the hell, food bowl, that doesn't make any sense. But they, there's a bunch of new foods you can add now to your player-owned farm. One of the main ones that I would mention is the Garagian... Mushrooms from the Polypore Dungeon can be used to feed Ark, or not the, not just Ark, but the Zygomites in general. So that is pretty sweet. Um, I don't understand how they weren't before. They're called mushrooms, but those are really, really cheap. They'll probably go up in price at least a decent amount as a result of this. Um, but they're way easier to get than pretty much every other mushroom, and they have pretty much no other use. So that's pretty nice. And then they said they added 88 new foods, so I don't know what the hell else they added, but I'm 
hopefully it's pretty much everything that you can ever think of that would be a food in the player owned farm will now work uh you know ideally but uh one thing that was a bit of a small change but not too important uh hazelmere signet ring now has a chance to work on your soul lock loot so you can have that chance at the double blight bound crossbow if you get lucky uh as long as you have the ring so that's pretty cool uh, you can now choose to not be asked again in the confirmation dialogue for jumping into the next fight. Super nice. That's always that's always been really, really annoying. And there's also right-click options to skip the initial dialogue asking whether you want to enter the encounter or use custom encounter options. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just click it now and it'll bring up the interface screen. And then you can just click it again and you'll go down in your inner, in your inter, wait instance not interface screen instance interface and then you can just go down with one click when you're in your instance so that is very nice um there was one other thing down here in the um in the ninja fix that was a ninja fix oh someone is calling my phone sorry about that um but yeah in the ninja fixes oh you can now teleport to the mushroom patch with the tyran wind quiver uh, although that does have limited teleports I'm not sure how many it is that are limited, but it is limited, which is a bit annoying. Um, and then I think that was everything that was there. Yeah, uh, there's still a uh, last chance to t fill out the Future of RuneScape survey. It closes on the 20th. Um, I would recommend checking that out. You have a chance to win a, 50, um, a $50 Amazon gift card for doing it if you if you uh do the survey i did it and it's a pretty interesting one you can do a lot of opinion stuff and i would recommend it you check it out if you haven't already um but yeah that's basically it for this week you guys um i actually finally finished a pretty big grind i was working on on a different account so i'll likely be back to making some more videos for my series on this account and i am almost definitely going to be starting up a new series quite soon although i might wait until i finish this other goal i have for that account before i start it up just so i don't like kind of get a false start on it but uh anyway you'll have to wait and see uh my apologies for that but either way that is going to be the end of this video pretty much again not the most exciting week in the world but i just figured I always want to do these Monday update videos just to keep you guys in the loop and on the on all the RuneScape news that you might not feel like reading yourself. Um, but either way, really hoping they have some great stuff lined up for next month because this month has been pretty lame so far and pretty much promises to continue to be lame based on what they mentioned for the, mo the month ahead, behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Nick the Trader has in stock whenever he does come, but... Other than that, there's nothing else to look forward to. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Should be at some point this week with my uh, Slayer, uh, my Slayer series, and then maybe starting the new series pretty soon. See you guys in the next video. Peace.